What you think about that, Mama? Yeah? Your new space? <laughs> Pretty nifty. We have finally finished our winter rabbit cage. Been working on this for a while. But if you recall, we have our rabbits in runs, which is much nicer. They're gonna love that more. But in the winter time, when the pee and poo is freezing to the ground, it makes it difficult to keep clean and sanitary for the rabbits. And I also decided to probably use these for breeding as well because baby rabbits also cause a lot of havoc but we got mama in there hi mama what you think of that and I'm pretty excited about it it's not perfect but it'll do it's much better than the, a typical wire cage I wanted something that would keep the rabbits warm in the winter uh, and then we've got some puppy litter trays down below right now. I still want to do tarps or something to help funnel it to those pans. But each rabbit gets a hay feeder, their feeder, water bowl, and a little mat to stand on. And I'm pretty excited about it. They're not gonna like it as much as their, their regular areas, but it'll be much drier and cleaner for them, so. But we got the rabbits in there. They're all checking out the insides right now. Uh, I also designed this so that uh, the center splits into four different areas. So if we did have a really, really cold night, at least all the bunny bodies hopefully generated together, keeps them a little bit warmer. So, what I am suspecting we will have a problem with is rabbits pooping oh. on the edges there where the wood is. So, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping they poop more uh, in the divider between their cages, because that's what they tend to do with their runs, is kind of a territorial thing. They poop down the line. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, just a quick video to share this and yeah, hopefully the hopefully the rabbits like it too. Oh, I forgot to mention we did line their doors, if I can show you, with, uh, my husband calls it plumber's tape, but I know it's called something else. It holds up uh, piping in your house. So oh, that's to help prevent them chewing on that. I'm not too concerned about the doors. They shouldn't get too much grip on there, but if not, we'll add some of that stuff on there as well. You can see Miss Honey Bunny in there. She's one of our shy girls. She seems to be digging it though. And uh, our our final cage right there doesn't have anybody in it yet because Miss Juju B had a date with Calcifer. We've been having trouble with breeding with it being winter, so we're not too surprised. But Calcifer has enjoyed having the company. Let's see her. So they're in there snuggling right now. We've just been rotating the does uh, out of this pen uh, every two weeks. So that way if they are bred, there's another two weeks before they 
give birth, but Calcifer gets a buddy and they cuddle and they snuggle and everything, so they like it. I guess I should add that Calcifer gets to keep his area, at least for uh, the rest of this year. Since we have four does, they take up the every spot we have in that new cage. And his area, it tends to melt the quickest and he keeps it pretty darn clean. He only uses his litter box over there. And so he gets to keep his nice large run and then uh, the does will visit him every now and then for breeding, so. Lucky you, huh, Mr. Calcifer? And that's that. Thanks for watching and I'll have to give you guys an update on how well this cage setup actually works. So, till next time.